Hi all, welcome back to Try to Technologies. Uh, please like our channel and uh, subscribe our channel. Share with your friends and families. And also don't forget to join Telegram channel. If you have any queries, post there. Search for Try to Technologies in the Telegram app so that you will find our channel. There are 5,000 plus members already joined in this channel and they are helping each other. And also if you know any answers, please reply to them. And also if you have any questions, post there so that you will get uh, a reply back. Okay, so we are talking about a DevOps project. Okay, so I'm going to do this in a private video. Okay, so I have already um, got the poll which we have posted in the Telegram app. So by the poll, okay, so we are going to have this. Okay, so uh, this private video will be costing around 5000 rupees. I thought of doing it for 10,000 rupees hands on but yeah like I said like a lot of uh, gaps between the people because not everyone is onto the tools uh, like someone knows Ansible, someone knows Terraform, someone knows Kubernetes, someone doesn't know all these tools okay so there are a mix of people who know few technologies who doesn't know few technologies so that what I thought is I'll post all the uh, architect diagrams and also I'll post all the required uh, process and also I'll put on required project okay so with that you will know what is happening and how it is happening okay in real time so this is a project um, I'm going to execute so what exactly we are going to do so we will have all the boxes okay so all the Linux and Windows boxes okay so for now we are going with all the Linux boxes it might be Ubuntu it might be CentOS or Red Hat or it might be uh, SUSE Linux okay so whatever the Linux flavors it is okay so there are 90 percent of the organizations going forward with this um, project setup okay so why I am saying 90 percent because I have seen lot of organizations moving towards this because they want all the information or logs to be monitored right every organization wants to know what is happening in the organization service or infrastructure this is very very important right so for example if i have 100 of servers so i need to know what exactly happening i need to monitor them i need to have observability i need to monitor logs what is happening and also inside these servers i might i may not i may I might have some applications like uh, I will have SQL DBs, I will have uh, middleware products like Kafka, MQ, right, MB, there are a lot of middleware products, WebLogic, okay, and also there are a lot of um, uh, services running like Java, your SSH, uh, your Logstash services, or your Elastic services, or your Kafka services, applications and services, okay how you monitor them how you manage them how you do the uh, monitoring of these things are very important nowadays so for example i have a client okay so for example i have one client uh, that is uh, uh, walgreens or walmart okay so or flipkart amazon whatever it is okay so these guys will have huge number of servers right for example they are having around 10,000 servers for example uh, normally these guys will have 30 to 40 thousand of servers okay so if they have 10,000 of servers okay so they want to monitor everything right so they want to see what is happening exactly and how they monitor the application inside that server how they monitor uh, database inside that server and how they uh, monitor the um, uh, system services like CPU, RAM or disk okay so how they monitor all this stuff okay so that is where every organization moving towards something called dashboards okay so dashboards uh, you might already know there are a lot of dashboard um, uh, products in the market like Tableau we have uh, Power BI we have uh, Kibana which comes with elastic log stash and we have um, uh, grafana which comes with uh, prometheus right so there are a lot of lot of dashboards okay so which are coming up and also which will be integrated with some of the um, ticketing tools like it might be snow it might be jira it might be pmc remedy 
right so obviously you want to see what exactly happening how your systems are performing how your application is performing if there are any issues found how you revert them into the tickets and how these tickets getting generated okay so these are all the stuff which is very important nowadays in the market okay so this is where we are going to do this is what the project we are going to execute okay so and remember that this is only for members okay so whoever are the members of the uh, 199 rupees they will be seeing this and also only the overview i'm saying okay so this this video okay but if you want the video complete project video okay so this will be released in uh, one week okay so and this will be for 5000 rupees okay so i'll show you like what exactly it will have how it will be there okay so i'll give you a sample architecture of this okay so that people will get to know what what project we have executed because the you guys will have lot of lot of questions okay so whenever you are going into the project okay so you need to know what process you go you are going to follow okay so this is very very important like what process you are going to follow so we'll be following agile process okay with devops okay and we are going to use jira for this okay so this is the process oriented okay so what process we are going to do and what are the tools we will be using tools will be using you know that github will be there then we'll have jenkins we'll have terraform terraform will be less used because whatever we are doing this is on my own data center okay so i'm creating this on my own data center i'm not creating on any cloud okay so this is created by my own okay so my own data center okay so i am creating infrastructure on my own and everything will be deployed on my own okay so i may not use terraform or i'll use very low uh, part of terraform or i will add another video where terraform is used to launch infrastructure in aws okay so this is what then we'll definitely use extensively we'll be using ansible with jenkins and also we'll be extensively using kubernetes okay with jenkins okay so this is the these are the tools okay and also what will be the applications we are using we'll be using logstash we'll be using kafka and we'll be using elastic and kibana to display the dashboards okay so these are all the tools which we will be using and producing a project okay so this is these are the tools okay so process wise we'll be using agile jira okay and devops with the method okay agile devops methods using jira tool and also tools like gitHub, jenkins ansible kubernetes and terraform moderately used okay and also this is not on cloud this is totally on a on premise okay so this will be on a on premise data sorry on premise uh, infrastructure okay and also applications will be using blockstash kafka elastic and kibana okay so how it will be deployed okay so you guys know already jenkins okay so jenkins will be deployed on a server okay so this will be a high availability server and also it will have slave nodes then we'll have ansible controller okay and also we have kubernetes okay it will be kind or kubedu okay so it might be anything okay i'll check on it okay so anyway you are not going to create any uh, infrastructure of kubernetes in the real time so we'll go with kubedium or kind we'll see how we can do that and also uh, here in applications we are also using beats okay so this is elastic beats okay so obviously i'll uh, show you how we can do the setup of jenkins okay so we already have this video in the uh, youtube but again in this project also we are going to 
do and see how we are going to do the Jenkins high availability. Then we'll integrate with GitHub. Then we will integrate with Terraform. And we will integrate this with Ansible. Okay. And also we'll integrate this with Kubernetes. Okay. So in Jenkins, we'll have pipelines, okay, to run Ansible playbooks to deploy on Kubernetes and also Ansible playbooks to deploy on Linux servers. Okay. So in Linux servers, we'll have all the builds installed. Okay. So we will have around uh, eight servers, which are to be monitored using Elastic and Kibana. Then we'll have Logstash server. Okay, so we'll try to deploy this on Kubernetes or on a separate VM box. Okay, next we will have Kafka. Again, Kafka, we have three node Kafka. That is, we will have three servers. Or again, we will try to do it on VMs or on Kubernetes. Then we'll have Elastic. Okay. So Elastic also will be on Kubernetes. And Kibana will be included in this. Okay. Elastic and Kibana will be on Kubernetes. Okay. So this is how the flow will be. Okay. So we are not going to develop anything here. Okay. So we are not going to develop anything and you are not going to create any docker images okay so we are using all the um, existing beads installations like the existing uh, beads uh, binaries existing kafka binaries existing logstash binaries existing elastic and kibana binaries okay so we are not going to develop anything as such and we are not going to modify anything as such okay so everything which is available in the market we are readily using that code and we are deploying that in our play sorry in our project okay but playbooks where we'll create some playbooks or else we'll download some playbooks from galaxy that is ansible galaxy then we'll put that in a github from github we'll be pushing through pushing that uh, the code to the Jenkins. Okay. So from there, everything will be taken care. Okay. So this is the project real time project that we are going to execute. And also don't worry about sonar cube, nexus and all that stuff. Okay. So if you want, you can add them. Okay. So add them in the sense, if you want to have a nexus repository and if you want to put whatever the code you are using, Okay, and you want to use that as your um, uh, repository, you can use that. Here we are not going to use Maven and also Gradle. Okay, so because we are not executing a Java project and we are not executing any Tomcat projects here. Because if you want that kind of project, there are hundreds of project projects in the uh, market or you can say in the YouTube or in the online. Okay, so we'll get hundreds of projects of that sort. Okay, so this is something which is uh, totally entirely an organizational point of view project. Okay, so this is a project which I'm going to execute. So if you guys are okay with this, you can join, you can uh, uh, pay 5000 rupees to have this project. Okay. And this is on my own infrastructure, own data center, which I'm going to create. Okay. So I've already created uh, nine servers already. I have uh, established Jenkins and uh, Ansible. But anyway, I have, I will remove all the, all of them. Then again, I'll uh, try to reinstall everything because I thought of doing an hands-on kind of thing. But I, like I said, there are a lot of gaps between you guys. Okay. So where someone knows some technologies someone doesn't know some technologies okay so this thing okay so this project flow is not the only one project flow i'll try to create one more project flow as well which is used by all of you most of the people who are using this tomcat all that stuff okay so i'll try to execute that one also in a 
proper realistic way okay so we'll try to do that so, okay so i already have my uh, uh, code for that okay so code for that in the sense i want to create a real time web page okay so like uh, e learning page which i have created last time but unfortunately i have not maintained it okay so i remove that server because that is also costing a lot of money okay so we'll see how we can uh, do this okay so i'll upload this as soon as possible so that uh, you guys can have a uh, look of what is happening on the real time thanks for watching this video have a great day bye